Alrighty, um, on section 2.2 .2 now, and that's slope and rate of change. So when taking a look here at this for slope, it says find the slope of a line. Before I can do the slope of a line, we need to remember the slope formula. That's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You gotta remember the formula. So this is what I like to do. I like to label my points. So it's an x1 and that's a y1. The reason why there it's x then y, but I put a 1 beside each of them because it's the first point. So that's why it's 1 and 1. This is x2 and y2. Why? Well, very simply put, because this is a 2 and this is a 2. It's the second point, and that's an x and a y. So when I fill it into the formula, uh, but before I do that, I'll just plug these in over here. That's x1, y1, because it's the first point. That's x2, y2, because that is the second point. So I plug it into the formula. y2 is negative 7 minus y1, which is 5 over x2, which is negative 6, minus x1, which is 4. When we do this, negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12, and I don't know why this keeps going down. Negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10, so the parentheses, or the negatives go, so I have 12 over 10, and I can simplify that by taking a two out of both of those to get six over five. Because I can divide them both by two. Over here with this one, um, y2 is negative one minus y1. And that's why it's minus and negative because y1 is negative six over x2 minus x1. So that's like saying plus a positive. Negative six plus, or negative one plus six is five. One minus five is negative four. So there is your answer. Um, the side whether line one and line two are parallel, perpendicular either. Well, first of all, we need to understand what each of these means. Parallel means that they have the same slope. Okay? Same slope. That's what that means. Perpendicular. Perpendicular means that they have opposite reciprocals. And what does that mean? Opposite reciprocals. Here are some examples. If I gave you the slope of 3, the opposite is uh, reciprocal is negative 1 third. Why? Opposite is negative because this is positive. That's negative. Reciprocal means you flip it. So if I gave you this, if I gave you negative 1 over 6, the opposite reciprocal, opposite is positive, the reciprocal, you flip it to get 6 over 1. So 6 is the opposite reciprocal. Okay, so this is some examples of opposite reciprocals. Neither means it's not the same and it's not an opposite reciprocal. So, find the slope of the first line. This is x1, y1. This is x2, and that's y2. Down here, this is x1, y1. This is x2, and that is y2. So let's take a look. x2, the formula, uh, for slope, once again, here's our formula for slope. Uh, minus x1. There's our formula for slope, so let's plug in the first one. y2 minus y1 over, and we have x2, which is negative 7, minus negative 3. So plus positive. That gives me a 2, plus a positive. That gives me negative 4 which simplifies to negative one-half. So here's the slope of the first one. Okay, the next one, y2 is negative six minus y1, which is negative two, over x2, which is negative seven, minus x1, which is negative five, plus a positive, it's negative four, plus a positive, that is negative 2. Negative divided by negative is a positive. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So here's what we get. I got a negative 1 half and a 2. This is perpendicular. It's perpendicular because they are opposite reciprocals, right? The opposite of a negative is a positive, and a reciprocal means you flip it. If you flip that, you get a 2. So that's why it's perpendicular. 
Same idea, same things to remember. We have x1, y1, x2, and y2. So uh, according to the formula here, I'll write the formula down again. This is the slope formula. So you got to remember that. y2 is 10 minus y1, which is 5, over 3, which is x2, minus x1, which is 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So the slope for the first one is negative 5 halves. The next one, x2 is negative 2. Sorry, y2 is negative 2. Minus y1, which is negative 7, divided by x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is 4. That's like saying plus a positive. So I get negative 2 plus 7, which is negative 5. And 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And I'm sorry, that's not negative. That's positive 5, right? Because negative, seven, negative 2 plus 7 is positive 5. So I end up getting negative 5 over 2 for this one. Since they are the same, it is a parallel line. Find the slope of a line passing through the points. All right, so basically they're saying find the slope again. Remember the slope formula is this right here. So once again, you're just plugging in the items. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. And this is x1, y1, and this is x2 and y2. And we will finish off that problem when we come back.